Humanity's exploration of space was accelerated with the Soviet satellite Sputnik on 4 October 1957, whose successful launch NASA considers as the dawn of the space age. The first man to leave the Earth's atmosphere was the Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, who entered space in the craft Vostok 1 in 1961. Human beings set foot on the moon on 20 July 1969 with the American Apollo 11 mission. In fact, it was revealed in the Quran that such developments and achievements would one day be realized. And this was revealed 14 centuries before, at a time when there were no spacecrafts equipped with advanced technology. O company of jinn and human beings, if you are able to pierce through the confines of the heavens and earth, pierce through them. You will not pierce through except with a clear authority. Careful examination reveals that the verse emphasizes that humanity will be able to move into the depths of earth and sky, but only with a superior power. In all likelihood, this superior power is the superior technology employed in the 20th century. In fact, these tidings imparted by God in the Quran took place thanks to 20th century advanced technology. He who possessed knowledge of the book said, I will bring it, the queen of Saba's throne, to you before your glance returns to you. And when he, Solomon, saw it standing firmly in his presence, he said, This is part of my Lord's favor, to test me to see if I will give thanks or show ingratitude. He who possessed knowledge of the book told Prophet Solomon, peace be upon him, that he could bring the Queen of Saba's throne to him very quickly. Another astonishing fact is being indicated here, the transmission of images with present-day advanced technology. Another verse on the subject reads, a demon of the jinn said, I will bring it to you before you get up from your seat. I am strong and trustworthy enough to do it. In our day, information of all kinds can be sent anywhere in the world in a matter of seconds, thanks to the Internet and advances in computer technology. In addition, research into the transmission of matter is continuing. Indeed, according to a CNN report on 17 July 2002, a group of physicists from the National Australian University in Canberra split a laser ray and transmitted it several meters. Ping Khoi Lam, the team's head, stated that transmitting matter in its atomic state might become a reality in the future. This is just as is revealed in the verses.